Hey, what's up everyone? Todd here. Uh, got a lot of requests on some uh, tutorials for some of the work I've done. I uh, figured this is my first one, so I started off fairly easy. So uh, what I'm going to show you how to do is a uh, set extension or sky replacement kind of deal with this effect here. Pretty simple to do using After Effects. Uh, let me show you what we're going to create. Adding the uh, skyline in and the buildings and everything in the background. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is create a new composition. Size of the file you're using. I'm using full HD 1080. So that's what I am using. Okay. First thing we want to do is uh, drag your footage into the composition if I can find it. There it is. Alright, this is my uh, footage here. And what I need to do is I need to trim out some of this. So I'm going to go down here to footage and double click it. And I'll bring it up here. And I'm going to go to the point where I want the file to start. Probably be right around there. Hit in. Close it out. And that's where my file starts now. Okay. And what we're going to do is uh, two ways to do this. You can either key out the sky. This is a pretty good sky to key out, but I'm not big on that. Or you can mask out a portion of the sky as well. I'll show you what it looks like with a key. So I'm going to go to effect uh, keying, color key. And we'll select a little droplet here and select that. And bring up the tolerance. And as you can see, it removes the uh, sky right out. But with the trees there, it leaves a lot of this uh, ugliness. There's a way to get rid of it, but it's kind of tough. You can feather it out a bit. You can also do the edge thin, which will bring it down as far as you want. But you still have an ugly looking mess there. So I'm not going to use the color key. I'm going to mask it. So come up here and select your uh, mask tool. And I'm going to mask around a portion of the sky here. Like this. Now, the thing to remember is, let me finish this mask first and I will show you. Okay, as you can see, the mask took away the rest of the video. We don't want that to happen. So go down here to your mask properties on the video select the mask and instead of add we want to subtract that'll bring it back up you can hit the uh, transparency tool to see where you're at okay next I wasn't going to say before I did that I wanted to show you all something uh, oh yeah my guy here me you don't want to get the mask in the way of where he's walking. This this came out pretty good actually for this uh, project. You need to think about this when you're filming. Because if I bring the mask over, he's he's going to be out of the picture. So you want to keep it away from him. Okay. Now the main thing on this mask is feathering. Basically, this is all there is to it. Put a nice feather to it. I'm going to feather it out to about 180. And as you can see, the mask feathered real nicely here. Okay, now that's where my background is going to go. So let's drop our background in here so you can get a better idea of what you're looking at here. Project. Now I googled, I did a Google search and found all kinds of stuff on a kinds of city images and stuff and there's all kinds of different ones I, I got here I could use but if I can find the one I want where's it at oh it's this one duh okay I'll drop it down in the composition underneath the other file and as you can see this files a lot smaller than my HD footage but I'm gonna go ahead and stretch it out so if you click on the little corner tab here and hold down shift and drag it, it'll stretch it evenly. So 
That looks pretty good. I'm going to stretch it about there. Then you can move your footage around to where you want it to be. I think that looks pretty good right there. We'll try that. As you can see, it feathered nicely right into the image. Now the main thing here is your coloring is way off. So the next thing you want to do is come down here, select both of your project files, go up to Effect, Color Correction, and CC Toner. It's a, a Sci-Core plugin. As you can see, the default brings it up like this, and you're already getting an awesome looking image here. But we can uh, take that a step further, further and click on the uh, color tab. And you can make any color you want, really, darker, whatever way you want to go with it. All kinds of good stuff in here. If you want to go more of a cool look, you know, whatever. Which I'm going to stick to uh, the default looking color right around, say, there for now. And as you can see, it's looking great. Looks like you got a bit of a fall, foggy look there, kind of in the background with the feathering, which I think works with this. Uh, you can go in and adjust your feather a little more if you want, mess around with it. If you go too far, it'll probably come down to where the guy is and cut his head off, so you don't want to do that. Keep it around 180. I thought that looked good. Now, if you don't like your uh, mask, you can move your mask around also. So select your mask, and you can move it. You can move it around to see what you can come up with. Something better, if not a little lower. Also, you can uh, zoom in here and tweak it as much as you want. Bring it down a little bit, as long as it ain't feathering too much into your your video as you can see it looks pretty good here the feather looks good uh let's see yeah let's go back a few frames but yeah he ain't, he ain't nowhere near my guy so when he comes up here you gotta watch out it looks good looks like the feather's not catching him at all so you can probably go on over with this if you want even further. Let's see when he comes up. Let's see now here, this might be a problem. He's probably going to come into the feather a little bit, which will, make more, which will make him more transparent looking when he goes through, and you don't want that. So, I'm thinking that's pretty good right there. Simple as that. Very simple, easy project to play around with. That's that. Let's go ahead and render a little bit of that out and see how it looks. Looks great. Love it. Uh, that's about it, folks. This is my first tutorial, so bear with me here. Uh, might have missed some stuff. or not too good at this yet. And there you have it. Um, also, uh, Andrew Kramer's website. I know you all have heard of it. He's got some awesome stuff on the uh, set extensions and sky replacements. Definitely check his site out. It's uh, videocopilot.net. Uh, all kinds of great stuff there. Uh, I'm just a rookie compared to the to, compared to uh, Andrew Kramer. So uh, check it out, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.